Do Good, 201 Ways to Lend a Hand by Marcy Silverman. People love a warm hug or just a friendly pat on the back. I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Thanks to family, friends, and Outreach ALS Foundation of Westchester. When someone you know is overwhelmed with life, confronted by obstacles that are a little too heavy to carry alone, it's easy to feel unsure how to respond. That's the time to remind it's not what you do, but what you do, that you do something. Often we don't realize that what we may seem is a small gesture or insignificant act can also actually make a meaningful difference in someone's life. This book offers practical ways for you to help reach out to help someone and lend a hand. There's no perfect words, no perfect gestures. Simply reach out and touch someone's heart. Be brave. Be a little more generous. Be kind. Ask, what can I do for you? And then sometimes don't ask. Just do something anyway. Go for a walk and just listen. Leave sweet treats and run. Email or post a note saying, I'm thinking of you. Plan a friend's night out or in. Bring over groceries. We all need them. Let people know they can count on you. Bring a pad and list the household chores. Prioritize, assign, and accomplish. Babysit the kids, pets, parents, plants, or whatever. Time for dinner? Organize meal deliveries with the neighbors. Don't forget to ask about the likes and dislikes. Are you vegetarian or kosher or do they have allergies? Throw in the towel and while you're at it, fold the laundry, iron the shirts and rock the socks. Sit down and watch a ball game, a cartoon or a chick flick. Give a gift of, of massage, a facial or a pedicure. Groom the dog, walk the cat, buy a lizard and some crickets. You don't have to feed it yourself. Bake together, share a belly laugh. It's good for the body, it's good for the soul. Leave kind words in the mailbox. Pinpoint problems and explore solutions. Put plans into motion. Read aloud newspapers, bestsellers, fairy tales. Pull out a deck of cards and deal a hand. Create a support system. There's strength in numbers. Call in the troops. Forward funny emails and personal messages. Attention scrapbook makers. Bring supplies and share your talents. Lose the clutter. Help clear out the attic, closets, basement, and make a trip to the dump. Burn a CD with your favorite tunes on theirs, or theirs. Be the computer geek, or hire one. Take the kids out of the house for ice cream, a movie, or just a walk. Donate your professional services. Accountants, plan budgets, plumber, fix leaks, hairdressers, get a haircut. Listen to the load. Lighten the load. Ask what you could carry. Go on an adventure together, if only for the afternoon. Encourage exercise. Take a friend to yoga, kickboxing, or the gym. Do a fashion beauty makeover together. Be handy. Find what's broken and fix it. Chip in for cleaning service for a day, for a week, for a year. Father somebody. Service the car. Change the oil. Rotate the tires. Get an inspection. Plant a garden. Pot some petunias or surprise someone with fresh flowers. Research hard to find items. Prosthetics, wigs, gluten-free cookies. Make the last-minute pickups. The dry cleaning, a gallon of milk, oops, the kids. Set up an aquarium. Expand the circle of your networking, whom you know that can help. Bring over coffee in the morning, a muffin, newspaper, and... Go to the local library and borrow books, audiobooks, movies, music, it's free. Be responsible for returning them. Volunteer to drive, to the doctor, pharmacy, the mall, grocery store. Go over. Be inclusive. Give an invitation to your book club, poker game, group bike ride, or a baby group. Offer to make connections, business, or love. Think of a compliment and pay it. Bring something in abundance. Chocolate-covered cherries, oranges, tulips, bubble gum, packs within a packs of baseball cards. Challenge someone to try something new. Go balloon, ball, go ballroom dancing, golfing, skydiving. Lend your good luck and charm. Make a wish come true. Ask for the wish list. Are you superstitious? Then lend your good luck charm. Offer ways to reduce stress. Meditation, herbal, herbal remedies, sound machines, warm baths with Epsom salts or lavender oil. Trace the family tree or set up a website with photos and news. Artistic? Create a lasting memory. A portrait of a dog, a house, grandparents, the kids. Help someone recognize that it's okay to ask for help. Break a routine. Offer your vacation home, city apartment, your cabin. Go to the woods, donate a frequent flyer mile, mail in rebates, 
Know that even the smallest gestures can make a huge impact. No act of kindness is insignificant. Let them complain to you until the cows come home. Share the holiday season, any holiday season. Indulge someone. Will it be cashmere or cheese puffs? Be someone's personal assistant for one day. We all could use one. Email an upbeat horoscope. Get political. Vote. Lobby. Sign a petition to support a cause. Raise awareness by wearing a button, a wristband, or a ribbon. Cook someone's favorite comfort food. Hot apple pie, lasagna, a brisket maybe. Help someone winterize. Remove air conditioners, cock windows, wrap pipes, share healthy food tips. Agave, pomegranates, kunao, green tea, goji berries, anyone? Take them out to the ball game, the opera, a symphony, or just offer your seats. Arrange for home delivery and pick up services. Participate in fundraising, volunteer, donate, or walk for a cure. Be a mentor to someone. Offer your knowledge and support and guidance. Read a relevant article, an email, or post it pronto. Support the caregivers. Take a special care of someone who's giving care. Giving doesn't have to cost money. Crotchet a cozy scarf. Build a birdhouse. Pass along a treasured toy. Cool boots. A lovely teacup. Your dad's hammer. Give words of encouragement and support. Reach out with healing power of touch. Give a friendly pat on the back and take a walk or an arm in arm. Offer a hug. Take someone out for coffee, ice cream, or a martini. Rock a child to sleep. Even a grown-up. Go a little further than you normally would. The results will surprise you. Stitch a quilt with swatches that tell a life story. Ask for specific assignments and make it your business to see it through. Prepare your favorite 30 minute recipe and bring it over in 30 minutes in the recipe, recipe included. Share a great sale, yard sale, sidewalk sale, bake sale, a gift the nurses, gift the nurses, tip the doorman, thank the teachers, check the contents for calories, sugar, allergens, drug interactions, expiration dates, do the wash for the car, the clothes, the dog, dishes, man, the the man right out of your hair. Call town hall. Find out what services are offering in the community for children, the elderly, and disabled. Make a child feel special. Plan a surprise trip to the zoo or the theater or a surprise camping trip. Take charge of the bills. Post and remember important deadlines. Detail-oriented. Help someone navigate through a medical, financial, or insurance form maze. Give them what they crave. Chocolate, cheesecake, beefcake. Cry together and hand out tissues. Make someone's tea. Make someone's tea and offer them sympathy. Chat online, shop online, do research online. Whatever your talent is, share it. Paint it, knit it, play the piano, sing a song, make a funny face, stroke your hair, give a foot rub, a smooth lotion, hold a hand and listen. Say a prayer, light a candle, make an altar. It's okay to do a little, it's okay to do a lot. Just do something. Be willing to share the silence. Donate food, clothes, furniture, or even blood. Commiserate. Bring along your camera and capture the memories. Organize a filing system that works. Spring into action. Pull out the weeds, trim the hedges, refresh the window boxes. Treat someone to a certain special something, a little luxury that she wouldn't buy for herself. Are you a night owl? Be the late night phone call for support. Make an offer that can't be refused. Tutor your best subject. Surprise someone with something that you know he really wants. Be a good driver, even in bad weather. Don't overthink it. Drop what you're doing and be there. Ask to hear someone's life story. Record an oral history. Don't assume you know how someone feels. Just listen. Gather old friends and share memories. Take on the job of research and listening, both safety and comfort measures. Are you good at directions? Offer to be the navigator. Plant a tree to honor someone. Make a gift basket. Sweet, spas, romance, or seasonal feast. Celebrate accomplishments, no matter the size. Listen closely. Hear the thoughts behind the words. Send a gift anonymously. Follow through with your good intentions. Reach out when it crosses your mind. Email, call, write. Plan your next party for a cause. Donate or collect a charity. Donate or collect for a charity. Accompany someone to the doctor and provide a second set of ears. Gather people together for a barn raising garage sale or house painting party. Take a CPR class and encourage a friend to join you. Find a cause to make your own volunteer. Find a cause to make your own. Volunteer in your community or the world community. Adults night out. Arrange for a babysitter. 
There are no perfect words, no perfect gestures. Say what's in your heart. Teach someone self-reliance, how to drive, how to cook, how to use the computer program, or how to manage personal finances. Teach someone self-reliance. Be an advocate. Support someone in the hospital at a doctor's appointment or a medical treatment. And take notes. Make that call. You've been putting off. Five minutes is all it takes. Offer to hold the baby. Feed the baby. You don't have to change the baby. Get creative with health and dietary needs. Track down new resources and fresh ideas. Give the gift of special subscriptions on antique tools, decorating, horticulture, or the hometown press. Reminisce over a pile of old photos. Post a list of useful chores, goods, services next to the kitchen phone, or on the school bulletin board, or online. Do a little or do a lot, but do what you can. It's okay to be squeamish, uncomfortable, or even afraid. Ask for a favorite color. Ask for a favorite color. Bring red tulips, crimson nail polish, ruby slippers. Introduce the art of journal writing. What is the gift of a blank book? Bring a jigsaw puzzle, the place, and place that first piece. Phone to stay in touch. Offer encouragement or just get the details. Give someone a break. Sit by the hospital bed. Chauffeur the kid. Shop for dinner. Everyone needs a party on their birthday or a cake. Attention shoppers. Ask for a list. Spring clothes, party goods, nursery supplies. Be present. Or if you can't, send presents. Bring a smiling face. Be the one to check in and visit on a regular basis. Loan someone your rose-colored glasses to help them see the silver lining. Restock the fruit bowl, the bookshelf, the DVD collection, the toy bin. Play with the kids. Draw a picture. Toss a ball. Build a fort. Summer chores. Install an air conditioner. Set up a fan. Put in the screens. Cool it down. Is someone in a jam? Talk it through. Offer to organize paperwork, closets, or schedules. Share the caregiving. Change the filters on your fish tank, vacuum, water, dryer, whatever. Be a matchmaker. It doesn't have to be romantic. Hook up friends with similar interests. Some moments need no words. Squeeze a hand. Be a role model, or see if you can provide one. Arrange for a medical alert, a burglar alarm, smoke carbon monoxide detector, or an automatic light timer. Serve breakfast in bed, on a tray, with a flower. Get involved with a charitable foundation or begin one. Involve a child, a teen, or a retiree. Find an age-appropriate task and involve them. Score the classifieds. Find what is needed, a window washer, wheelchair, or an animal psychologist. Offer to work pro bono. Make spontaneous plans. Take someone for a walk, or a bike ride, or a drive. Are you meticulous? Offer to dot the I's and cross the T's. Know your limits. Do what you can. There's no one right. There's no one right way to help. Scrutinize your skill set. Share your obsessions for Sodoku, Tai Chi, reality TV. Step aside and outside of your comfort zone and reach out to someone. Teach by example the act of giving to your child, grandchild, and any child. Undertake one hard job and complete it. Take the time to enjoy something together. Piece of music, a TV show, a sunset. Plan a getaway that doesn't have to be a crime involved. Live out of town, send a care package, Florida oranges to Vermont, or send Vermont maple syrup. Spread the, spread the word that help is needed. Call upon relatives, friends, neighbors, colleagues, religious congregants, friends who share hobbies, parents of friends, friends of parents, old and new friends. Spread the word. Chop the tree, stack the wood, light the fire, eat some s'mores. Plan a potluck dinner with a funny theme. Talk to the person who is sitting alone. Heat the cocoa, read the story, plug in the nightlight, tuck in the teddy, be the motivator, help someone quit smoking, start a diet or exercise, create peace. Don't be afraid to acknowledge the elephant is in the room. There is little comfort in denial. Put a gourmet dinner on the table. Candles are optional. Share your favorite websites for buying groceries, medications, books, movies, and gifts. Help someone find career counseling, drug counseling, marriage counseling. Dress up, go out, and have fun. Give someone a pep talk. Electricians, painters, carpenters, bring your own tool bags. Tell jokes. If you're not funny, rent com comedians. Tell jokes. If you're not funny, rent comedies. Bring pleasure to the senses with nice scents, pleasant, pleasing colors, good flavors, calming sounds. Brainstorm. Generate fresh ideas and new directions. Research the big list. Healthcare professionals, legal counselors, social services, insurance agents, financial advisors. In spring, clean up the yard, wash the windows, shake a rug, bring in the sun. 
Post an emergency list with doctors, relatives, affiliates, volunteer organizations, neighbors, and friends. Mark the joyful anniversaries. Celebrate health and success. Inspire others to help. Turn compassion into action. And ask, what can I do for you? Because these actions do speak louder than words, do good offers thoughtful insight and in teaching out, spreading cheer, showing compassion, and just lending a hand to show that you care. There's no perfect words, no perfect gestures, just brave, be generous, be brave, be kind, and be handy. Find what's broken and fix it. Babysit the kids, pets, parents, plants, whatever. Think of a compliment and pay it. Mother, father, somebody. Offer to make a connection, business or love. Ask for a specific assignment and make it your business to see it through. Squeeze a hand. Some moments need no words. Do Good, 201 Ways to Lend a Hand by Marcy Silverman.